Hey you guys, um, this is a quick video update for my four week progress. Um, I was supposed to update it Tuesday. Tuesday made four weeks with my implants. Um, so there's good news and then there's some not so good news. I'm going to start out with the good news. The good news is I feel fantastic. I feel so great. Like they, the implants feel so normal to me now. There is no pain or anything, and, you know, looking back, it was a daily change. Like, every day got better than the one before. So, for any of you who are going to get this done, um, you know, like I've said many times before, but I'll say it again here, I was in a little bit more discomfort than most would be because of the fact that I had bone removed from the upper and lower um, portion in my mouth and um, so it was a little bit more difficult for me and in the beginning I was in a lot of discomfort, you know, I'm not going to lie, but I can say with certainty, if, at least in my case, it got better every single day until, you know, right now, I just feel great. I feel so awesome. Um, so, I'm sure it's only going to get better from here. Um, somebody mentioned something that I feel was very a very good observation. Um, I have mentioned in every single video how the saliva is going on. Because, I mean, that's a big deal if you're, like, drooling and stuff, you know. And people kind of want to know about that. So, um... I have felt like since the beginning that I am producing way more saliva and I know that that's normal because like when I first got my dentures and um, when I first got my even my permanent dentures, you know, my first set and my permanent dentures, I had the saliva um, issue. And it's because like whenever anything in your mouth changes, you're going to start, um, your mind is not used to it yet and you perceive it as it is a foreign object and you know, it takes some time to get used to that. It's like when you suck on a hard candy, um, you get a lot of saliva action going on. So this is no different. Well, you know, it seemed like it was prolonged in this situation, but somebody made a good point, and that's that maybe it's not more saliva. Maybe I'm just perceiving it that way because I don't have anything covering the top palate anymore. Um, it's 11.30. I need to get rid of that, huh? Um, anyway, so that's, that's probably the case, honestly, and it's probably just going to take some time for me to get used to that. Um, so I appreciate that little pointer there um the next thing is that my bite is off still and you know the back molar is making more contact than the rest of the teeth but that is normal that happens it happens with dentures it happens with bridges it happens with natural teeth my sister has braces and she is having an issue with her back molar and they're gonna have to adjust that um but how they adjust it um in this situation is they you know, I'm going to get new bridges, but um, if I wasn't going to get new bridges, what they would do is there's a little film, and you probably rem remember it with your dentures, if you had dentures, um, and you bite down on that and kind of grind your teeth back and forth, and it, it will leave um, a type of residue, like a, like a black mark on your teeth where, you know, there's too much pressure in that location, and they can, like not sand it down, but you know the little tools that they use, and they can kind of drill that down, grind that down a little bit to fix that. Um, but like I said, that's completely normal. Um, oh god, don't bite me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the next thing is eating. <clears throat> now, I have had a phobia since day one with these, as far as eating goes, because, you know, this is not like dentures like there's implants in my jaw and I have been so scared <clears throat> that are you kidding me <laughs> that I'm gonna break something like I feel like I'm gonna like mess something up or you know like an implant is just gonna pop through my jaw you know so I haven't been going like crazy with my implants and I kind of have been wanting to take it easy until I get back to Las Vegas and see the dentist and have him reassure me that everything is healing properly and everything's okay. So 
I haven't been eating anything really challenging except this and here is the um, not so good news. Tuesday night I was having an, an emotional night <laughs> because my son was recently diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder. I've mentioned before my oldest son is autistic. Well we finally went to see a geneticist and he was diagnosed with um, a, a rare chromosome issue. Um, but and so I was kind of having my moment with a box of ice cream and I was eating it straight out of the container and it was so good because <laughs> I'm on a diet so I don't do that anymore um, and I bit into a piece of frozen cookie dough it's chocolate ch chocolate chip cookie dough and my back molar came off like it just it snapped off just the back molar and after I uh, uh, so to compare that one right there and you guys know that I was already missing back molars because they don't want you to put too much stress on the implants in the very early stages um, so this is obviously no fun and um, I got on uh, Dr. Golpa's website and I was able to chat with Andrea or Andrea I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right but we talked for a while and she answered a whole bunch of my questions she was very friendly I mean surprisingly you know it was after hours for their office and I was able to still chat with her about my concerns so that was a huge relief and um I'm they've booked my flight um to go back out there um or they they will um and I'll be leaving here very soon um to go back out there and get my new bridges made. But anyways, to let you guys know so that you don't freak out, stuff like that can happen. And, you know, sometimes it's because of a faulty product, but not all the time, you know, not usually. And I was I was biting into frozen ice cream. I mean, that's probably not such a good idea, especially in the beginning with these, because they intentionally leave space between your bridges and your gums. Um, and then at two months, at least with Dr. Gopa, you go back in two months and you have a reline and I can understand why because that gap between the bridge that is sitting on implants, not your gums, it's sitting on the implants, um, the gap between the bridge and my gums became bigger and it happened, you know, right there and the implant is right here so there's nothing back there to support that so it kind of snapped off. And I'm, I'm sure that if I had a reline on these, that probably would not have happened. And it's not something I would worry about happening to, like, a front tooth or anything. Because there's, there's a lot more support there than there was in the back. And, you know, frozen cookie dough is pretty hardcore. Um, so, I'm getting new bridges. They're going to be t uh, reinforced with titanium. And moving onward, if I understand her correctly, everybody there should be getting bridges that are reinforced with titanium. As y'all know, titanium is a very durable, um, pretty much indestructible type of metal. And what I mean by reinforced, I mean the framework of the bridge has titanium, like a titanium inlay. Um, so that like, you know, like a house, you know, you're not going to build a house with drywall. It's, you know, reinforced by the frames and everything, the framework. So this is the framework for your denture, or not denture, but your um, bridge. And yeah good luck getting that to snap in half so that's most likely never gonna happen with you know titanium bridges um, but if this does happen to you a good idea is now I first tried dental wax for um, for braces that my sister gave me but it would not stay on so cushion grip is apparently good for a lot of things including this I just took a ball of cushion grip and put it right there on the back to cover up that sharp spot so that helped tremendous so I was in a lot of pain if you have to experience something like this where a piece of a denture or a bridge breaks off leaving a sharp spot and you can't get to a dentist immediately cushion grip right there will provide a cushion for it so I mean that's incredible <laughs> Like I said, I'll be getting new bridges, and um, I'll be in Vegas for five days, and we'll do a wax try-in process, and I will try to document that as much as possible so you can see how that goes. 
And I guess that's it. My husband's staring at me, and it's a very awkward situation right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> we just celebrated our um, three-year anniversary yesterday, so our three-year wedding anniversary. And then in May, it'll be seven years since we've been together, so. Anyways, that's my update for now. Um, obviously, this is, you know, aside from the fact that I'm missing a molar there, I mean, this is an awesome update because everything just feels so great now. So if you guys have any questions, post it in the comment section below or email me at kal32205 at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out my blog. It is iwearedentures.com. Simple enough. So you guys take care.